What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna be doing something brand new. Um, I just had this question and it popped into my head. What, um, what does Google bring up for each letter of the alphabet? So uh, that's what this new series is gonna be. Uh, each video, I'm gonna look up uh, a letter or I'm gonna look up one of the keys on my keyboard and we're gonna figure out um, what does Google bring up when you search that thing? So we're gonna look at what are some of the uh, what are some of the quick search results, and what are some of the things that bring up when you do that. So, um, first is the letter Q. So let's uh, type it right here. So Q. When I type in Q, it brings up uh, Quick Trip, which is a gas station, QVC. Quizlet, Qatar, the country, Quillbot Incorporated, um, Quizzes, QuickBooks, Quordle, the daily word game. So, let's see. I don't know what QVC is. QVC is an American free-to-air television network and flagship shopping channel specialized in televised home shopping owned by Curate Retail Group. Okay. Let's do... Uh, what is Quizlet exactly? Quizlet is a multinational American company that provides tools for studying and learning. It was founded by Andrew Sutherland in October 2005 and released to the public in January 2007. Quizlet's primary products include digital flashcards, matching games, practice electronic assessments, and live quizzes. Uh, so Quizlet was very important to me and many other uh, students because it helps with, helps with studying and other stuff like that. So Let's see. Uh, what can we learn about Qatar real quick? <laughs> Qatar is a peninsular Arab country whose terrain comprises arid desert and a long Persian Gulf shoreline of beaches and dunes. Also on the coast is the capital, Doha, known for its futuristic skyscrapers and other ultra-modern architecture inspired by ancient Islamic design, such as the Limestone Museum of Islamic Art. The museum sits on the city's Corniche waterfront promenade. Let's see... Let's just search just the letter Q. Let's see. So there's so it brings up search YouTube search results, YouTube videos, things like that. Uh, Q apparently I guess is a music artist of some sort. So they have a bunch of songs today. Stereo driver taking where your heart is alone. Then you have Q Q's Wikipedia page. It'll show me. It shows me a bunch of stuff that's relatively close to me in my hometown, in my regular relative area. Uh, people also ask, how do you spell the letter Q? What does this say? In its name in English is pronounced Q, K-J-U, most commonly spelled Q, but it's also Q, Q, and Q. Uh, what starts with Q? It brings out a bunch of words. What is Q with a line over it? Q with stroke is a letter of the Latin alphabet divided, derived from the letter Q with the addition of a bar through the letter's descender. Live Q or die. Uh, makers of the honey badger, the fix, and other unpossibly badass stuff. What the hell is this? Hold on a second. What is live Q or die? Is this like some QAnon type shit? Oh, it's a podcast. Okay. Oh, it's a very conservative podcast based on what I'm looking at right now. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> I have a YouTube channel. Okay, okay. It's a Live, Q, or Die podcast. Um, Wiktionary. Uh, internet slang of Q. Hey, okay, it's Mexican. Q on Spotify. The definition of Q and its meaning by Merriam-Webster. A Q restaurant and bar. It looks like it's a restaurant and bar in Portland. Um, Q, as in the character from Star Trek. Q with Tom Power, Five Days a Week. What the fuck is this? So this is from CBC. Steve Reich shares the influencers behind his one-of-a-kind compositions. What the hell? Uh, what the hell is Q? I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what this is. This is like some CB. This is like some CBC type shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. I think. So they have interviews and they just have Q. I don't know what Q is. Uh, 
Okay. What what is Q with Tom Power? Is it a podcast? I think it's a podcast. It is definitely a podcast. Absolutely a podcast. Okay, another pod that's two podcasts we found now. Um So then we have Q Memory Alpha. Hold on, what is this? So this is this is on fandom dot com, I think. Ah, oh, I see. This is another Star Trek thing. Uh, so this is another Star Trek thing. Uh, what the hell? So this next one brings me to, it's an app on the Google Play Store called Q, and it looks like it's a puzzle game of some sort, where you draw, uh, like a shape or an object, and in order to do a thing... Huh, interesting. <laughs> uh, Q definition meaning on dictionary.com. Q bio. Get ready to meet your digital twin. Introducing. Q, what the fuck is this? Get ready to meet your digital twin. In Q, introducing Q bio Gemini, the first clinical whole body digital twin platform powered by the Q Biomark 1 autonomous whole body scanner. The fastest, most accessible scanner ever developed now the physical of the future is for everyone so it's it's like a what the fuck the hell's going on look it looks like this it's it's i mean i guess i i, I read what it is it's it's powered the q bio one mark the q bio mark one whole body scanner so it scans your entire body and it gives a And it gives a, um, what the fuck? It gives, like, results based on your health. It looks like this is the kind of thing you can sign up to do, like, clinical trials for. Let's, let's dig a little deeper on this. Uh, participant interest form. Thank you for your interest in participating in research to inform the next generation of preventative, non-invasive medical imaging that will help improve primary care for all. Our research scan will be conducted. Okay, that gives an address. A 90-minute whole-body MRI scan. God damn, that's a long time. If you were given a study ID, you know, okay, yes. Uh, right. Back to what we were doing. Um, Q ideas. What is this? Culture Summit 2023, Building Resilient Communities. Uh, okay, this looks like, I don't know what this is. I'm just kind of, it, it, this, what the fuck am I looking at right now? Um, I don't know, but there's a, there's, there's a, I just stumbled upon a subscription page that has, what is this? Seven ninety nine a month, forty nine dollars a month, ninety nine dollars a month. What to expect when you hundreds of world? Class. Oh, this is like a TED Talk sort of thing about just this. Yeah, this is this is like a TED Talk kind of this website. So this next one is Q Mixers, the world's best. What did it say? The world's best mixers. We make the world's best mixers, real ingredients, less sweet and purposely crafted so the subtleties of great spirit shine through. From organic agave to real ginger, Q is made with the highest quality ingredients. Never high fructose corn syrup, genetically modified ingredients, artificial flavors or preservatives. Q mixers make your drink spectacular. So it's showing a bunch of different... Um, it's showing a bunch of different uh, mixers. So they have a spectacular tonic water, ginger beer, ginger ale, sparkling grapefruit, cola, elderflower, tonic water, club soda, light ginger beer, light tonic water, classic tonic water, hibiscus ginger beer, tropical ginger beer, spectacular Bloody Mary mix. This is this is the one that's in the like the the cover photo. Spectacular margarita mix, spectacular tonic water. We're back to ginger beer. Okay, we're back to the very beginning. Shouldn't your mixer be as good as your spirit? Uh, fuck, I guess. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, let's see. Q by Aston Martin. Hold on a second. What the fuck? The ultimate bespoke person personaliz what personalization service. The Q collection. A range of unique enhancements have been created to uh, have been created to allow you to personalize your Aston Martin beyond the scope of the core option range. Specially designed and engineered by Aston Martin's in-house bespoke division, distinctive elements have been designed to further enhance the power, elegance, and beauty of your Aston Martin. So, a lot, a lot of nice, sexy pictures of these cars. 
I guess this is just a place you can go to to freaking custom build your own fucking car that you want. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's do one more. This one's by this is by Mozilla, which is the same people who made Firefox. Um, what the hell is this? MDN Web Docs. Uh, Q the inline quotation element. The Q HTML element indicates that the enclosed text is a short inline quotation. Most modern browsers implement this by surrounding the text in quotation marks. This element is intended for short quotations that don't require paragraph breaks. For long quotations, use the block note element. So this is like a programming web page type shit. Like when you press like F11 or whatever the hell it is, F F12. Yeah, when you press F12 and it brings up that thing on the side where you can mess with elements of the the web page. Okay, okay. Well, uh, the last one. Or the last one I'll, I'll even mention is this IMDb page of Q, the Winged Serpent, a 1982 movie, which Q is, so an Aztec mythology, or an uh, ancient Aztec Mayan Incan mythology, um, Q, the Q is short for Quetzalcoatl, who's like the, who's like the, um, the, the winged, the winged, uh, the winged serpent spirit kind of thing. Uh, it's projected that Q is depicted as a giant snake with wings. And so, um, yeah, that's cool. Um, but, um, yeah, this was just a, this is the first episode of a new little, little funny little concept that I've had got about this. But, uh, this was, uh, what happens when you Google search the letter Q. Um, if you all enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to see more content just like this in the future. Um, leave your suggestions on which uh, letter you'd like me to do next. Um, please join the Discord and the Patreon in order to show your support for the channel. It really helps me out. Uh, once again, uh, if you all enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe whenever you all do that for me. It helps me stay motivated to make more content for you all in the future. Uh, once again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye!